Tonight, the Palaka community coming together to support the family of Robert Gillen. According to police, the 15-year-old was found dead after what's being called a possible cardiac arrest. Our Andrew Badillo is in Palaka tonight where a vigil was held to support the family. In the Palatka High School gym, the family of Robert Gillen sat in front of a crowd of more than 100 neighbors and friends to pray and remember Robert Gillen. Tuesday night, more than 100 cried and clapped for the boy in the center of the gym. He again could be in the room with a lot of people. You would not know he was there. Robert Gillen didn't make much noise. He had what I call quiet strength. Robert's pastor, Carl Flagg. Never saw him hyped up about anything unless it was a football and a goal line. It was supposed to be the 15 year old's first varsity football season. Anytime you said something to him, even if it wasn't what he wanted to hear, his only response was yes, sir. Bobby Rollerson is Gillen's football coach. Monday, he heard yes, sir, for the last time. He was as energetic as he always is and um, dialed in and focused as he always was. Palaka police say Gillen complained of chest pains Monday before practice. Rollerson said he was unaware and that Gillen looked healthy. Police say Tuesday morning he died of natural causes. Hours later, with his family in the front row, the community was loud for the boy who always showed quiet strength. Be like Robert. Be more like Robert. He would never be forgotten. Memories will be treasured and cherished. In Palatka, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.